Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number seven for learning management system in Django with React JS. Till now, in this series, we have created the models. Okay, then we have created the serializer, and according to the serializer, we have created the REST API. Okay, and we have implemented the REST API only on the uh, teachers model. Okay, and uh, we have also we have also seen that how we can implement the permissions authentication we have implemented the basic authentication we have implemented the token authentication okay now in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to install react js for our front end okay in this video we will see that how we can react uh, how we can install react js then we will simply uh, create our hello world application with react js okay and uh, then in our upcoming videos i will create the uh, i will create the flow for the project i mean i will uh, show you the uh, i will show you that how we will uh, move to the project i will uh, create the designs and according to our model and we will also modify our models okay so let's jump into this video and uh, install the react js okay so this is not very complicated you just need to uh, uh you just uh, need to aware about some uh, basics and uh, you can do this okay so let's start to do this so the first thing uh, the, so the first thing is if you want to work with react js then you have to install node okay so i am using window 10 okay you can install node js uh, from this uh, website you can simply say node download or you will find the link okay and then you can install node.js so after installing that after installing that when you will uh, enter node then this will show you the version okay and you are in the uh, command line of node so i will just cancel this and then after that if you have node then you are able to install uh, a react.js okay so how we can do that so I will just simply create the React app with this command. We no need to uh, install the first uh, thing and then uh, create the project. We will directly create the project with npx command. Okay, so this come this npx command comes with no uh, Node.js when you install that. Okay, you can find the uh, you can find uh, the documentation of Node uh, from their official website. The e this is very easy process. You can simple download okay so after downloading and installing you can uh, run this command npx create react app and then name of your app so in my in our case it will be uh, lms frontend okay and when you hit this enter then it will take some time and install the app okay so i have already done that so you can see here i am already in lms frontend okay so after that <clears throat> after that you will run this command npm start okay so this will uh, start the react app in your default browser okay so my in, in my case the default browser is uh, edge okay so this will start the app in edge let's see it will take few seconds and it will work on 3000 port so it is starting so it will take few seconds yeah so starting the development server here you can see that and now here, here you can see that it has opened the edge browser okay and it is uh, try uh, try to loading the home page its default page when we install the node uh, react.js sorry then it uh, comes with the default home page okay it is taking some time to showing the page let's wait few seconds yeah so this is the home page okay so let's modify this and i just add hello world okay so how we can do that so i will go to lms frontend okay and then i will just simply add i will just simply go to source 
and in this we have lots of files okay we will discuss this uh, step by step the first thing the first is running uh, this is app.js okay so i will open this okay so here it is uh, here you can see that this is app.js and this is not a, a fully javascript file it is a jsx file okay jsx file okay so uh, this is uh, react js uh, uh, file so it will uh, react js read this file so i will just say javascript and i will go to javascript paper okay and then here you can see that the color has been changed for the code so i just remove all the things i just remove this header and just simply add hello world actually i will not, uh, I'm not i will not use this sublime but i will use a uh, visual code for the uh, for developing the react application okay so let's go here and here you can see that this is simply hello world okay so this will uh, real time change whenever you change the file and save then this will change real time let's say uh, i will say let me show you so i will open both the both the here app and then i will say this thing and i will save here okay so here you can see that i didn't refresh this but it automatically refresh this uh, browser page okay so <clears throat> we have installed the react app here in this uh, django lms okay i have installed the react app and i have also modified the uh, the main file app.js okay so this app.js actually runs from our index.js okay so in, from this index.js i'm in, uh, this is importing the app file and then it will uh, run this with this uh, react dome render okay so this is the main file when we uh, start the server then this file will run and this uh, run the app.js file okay so in the upcoming videos we will see that how we can design our application with react.js how we will work with the component lots of things uh, we will do in our in this series in the upcoming videos okay so <clears throat> i hope you understand all the things so please install the react app and uh, because and we will start the application in our upcoming video uh, we will start to develop the design the application and uh, yeah uh, there are lots of things uh, we need to do so we will do so <clears throat> stay tuned with the coda design lab and please subscribe this channel and like this video comment on this video if you have any and thanks for watching this video thank you so much